there's a few different questions about noise. Um, curious if people have thoughts on if different systems are noisier than others, and if they are, if there's ways to mitigate that, you know, either by you know putting covers on it, um, yeah. or otherwise dealing with noise. So uh, I mean, at Harvest, we you know, to be honest, Harvest Thermal started when I was facing my very own cranky gas furnace and thinking this thing is not going to live very much longer. And my next system is going to be electric and then struggling to find an electric system that really met our needs. And so we, we developed the harvest thermal system. But things like comfort and noise are, are paramount. And we're not really going to, you know, people aren't going to transition from gas to electric if you're going to reduce comfort. And I think what we're hearing from Emily and Wendy, and certainly my experience, is that comfort can be enhanced by these electric systems. But it's no fun if you have a really noisy system. So um there are different heat pumps out there. You know, the one we use is 37 decibels. 37 decibels, you hardly hear it. I kind of put my hand near it to know if it's on. And it's outside my daughter's bedroom and, and no problem. But then some of them are maybe 60, 65. And so it's, it's a requirement. If you, you know, if you don't have a, a space far away that, that you don't mind putting the heat pump, then ask for one with a low, low noise, uh, low decibels. And then in the home, it's a question of, you know, the, the ductwork, you know, how fast is the fan going to operate uh, and, and really making sure you're you're speaking to contractors who are good at working with duct and making sure that the flow is optimum. Uh, we tend to run our system uh, on a, at a gentle rate. Um, uh, as Emily was saying, we don't have a big setback at night, a little setback, but not too much because we try and keep that, that constant temperature that avoids having to have a fan working too fast. Um, so there are ways to do it, but I think getting the right contractor is key to that. Mm -hmm. Great. I'd like to throw in there that sound can be tricky. So the same piece of equipment uh, and sound is so important um, that people are comfortable with the sound, but you could take a, um, a little mini split that, I mean, in general, they're known as being and the quieter, you know, what Jane is talking about is extremely quiet and wonderful, but um, a little mini split outdoor units might be in the low 60s uh, for decibels sound rating, which is great. It's basically like the same as a box fan. So it'll run and normally we could have a conversation right next to it. Nobody would notice. And um, I have people say, you know, oh, well, we, can we turn it on and hear it? And I'm saying, you know, looking at the grass blowing, it's, it's on. Um, but you can have that same thing and it can be put in a in a little then maybe there's a fence a few feet away from it and it's got a wall behind and to the side and uh, all of a sudden you've created the sound chamber like the body of a guitar and it will amplify and it'll be right next to the window of the person that has as a light sleeper so um it's just important to be aware of your equipment options and to um, think about, the placement and um, the expectations. Thanks. 